Don Guan is a queer, third-generation Chinese-Canadian artist whose work explores place, identity, representation, and family memory across time. In Landscape Loss and Legacy, he uses a multidisciplinary approach to engage with the City of Ottawa's Firestone Collection of Canadian Art. Part of the Ottawa Art Gallery's Firestone Reverb series, Quan reflects on modernist depictions of landscape in Canada and brings a selection of these historical works into dialogue with his own artistic practice to consider the question, what does it look like to belong in the Canadian landscape? Throughout the exhibition, Quan's work is displayed alongside works from the Firestone Collection, including works by artists such as Alan C. Collier, A.J. Casson, Yvonne McKay Hauser, Lauren Harris, and George Pepper, among many others. Ranging from the 1920s to the 1970s, these works depict modernist landscapes across the country, capturing iconic scenes from coast to coast to coast. Displayed between these works, Quan presents a series of photographs from his Landscape and Loss series, which is a documentary record of a traditional palace lantern placed within the Canadian landscape. The lantern, which hung in the forest outside the artist's rural home for two years, between 2019 and 2021, served as an offering to honor and connect with the spirit of his late mother and father. Before placing it in the woods, Quan removed the lantern's original glass panels, revealing its immediate outdoor surroundings through the gaps. In his series of photographs, he captures images of the lantern in all four seasons, documenting its slow decline and integration into the landscape. Across the gallery, lightboxes illuminate three additional images from this series, beckoning viewers with a steady glow. Installed with care in the woods, Quan's lantern inserted a Chinese presence into the Canadian landscape, a presence further illuminated by the central lightbox image, an image of the artist himself holding the lantern aloft, ankle deep in the snow. These images, lit from within, highlight how the series, which captures moments of grief and loss, also become a sign of hope that speaks to, in the artist's own words, strength, resilience, and persistence under the harshest of conditions. In the middle of the room, Quan's sculptural work evokes iconic Canadian symbols from pop culture. Muskoka chairs are a fixture of outdoor cottage living and have become emblematic of connecting with nature. They invite people to rest and enjoy the landscape, and they are often drawn together around a bonfire. At first glance, Quan's chairs, arranged together and surrounded by images of the Canadian landscape, echo this idea of gathering and inclusion. Upon closer inspection, however, the chairs are inaccessible, fastened together in a tightly closed circle. Who belongs here? As a third-generation Chinese-Canadian artist, Quan's work seeks to explore belonging both within the current context, with the rise of anti-Asian hate, and with the notions of inclusion and exclusion rooted in our national history including Canada's history of exclusionary practices against Chinese immigrants. Across the room, Quan makes use of another type of chair in his installation, Nearness. In this work, Quan brings together objects that each have their own respective Chinese and Canadian associations to recreate a representational interior space while revealing his interest in exploring intersections of identity and belonging in Canada. Two traditional Chinese yoke back chairs now fitted with mirrored seats reminiscent of disco ball material, sit alongside a handmade log table, while Canoe Lake, Algonquin Park, a traditional landscape painting by Group of Seven member A.Y. Jackson, hangs above the space. Grounded in the presence of the two chairs, the installation also alludes to the displacement of the Oriental aesthetic among early Chinese settlers, particularly in Chinatowns across North America and found within popular imagery. Although traditional landscapes make up a large part of the Firestone collection, the Firestone family also collected a number of abstractions throughout the mid-20th century. Seeking threads in the collection with relevance to his own experience, Quan was drawn to a selection of works by Léon Belfleur, Rita Latendre, Maxwell Bates, and Harold Town. Reflecting the different ways in which the artist departed from traditional representations of their surroundings, these paintings are also visually united in their use of red, a deeply significant color in Chinese culture, symbolizing luck, happiness, and prosperity. While reflecting upon legacies of inclusion and exclusion, Quan's dialogue also expanded beyond depictions of the landscape to consider how historically marginalized figures are located within the Firestone Collection. 
Kwan brings forward one of the FCCA's only two depiction of Asian figurative subjects, a sketch by Toronto-based white artist York Wilson. Although the figure in this work is included in the collection, they are also excluded. The figure in the work is unnamed and their relationship to the artist is unknown. Although potentially drawn from life, the lack of identification, date, and further information leaves the subject a fiction. Here, Kwan invites us to continue to consider how do we approach and care for the depictions of historically underrepresented and marginalized subjects in Canadian art? These two landscapes are by Japanese Canadians Kazuo Nakamura and Takao Tanabe, the only Asian Canadian painters represented in the Firestone collection. These works are both from the late 1950s, and they offer a glimpse into how the Canadian landscape was depicted by the two artists earlier in their careers. Nakamura's stylized landscape is evocative of his interest in the underlying patterns found in both art and nature, whereas Tanabe's work calls to mind Japanese ink painting, which he came into contact with during this period. In Reflections of the Landscape, Kwan returns to materials from his Landscape and Law series. While the palace lantern from this series just is created outdoors, and remnants of this can be seen in the gallery space, laid below vibrant landscape works by Emily Carr, Paris Gava Clark, and Henri Masson. The original painted glass panels featuring Chinese landscapes were preserved. Here, in the remains of his lantern, the landscape panels overlay photographs of Kwan's family, which speaks to his family history encompassing decades in Ottawa. Presenting memories of his Chinese-Canadian family against the backdrop of an imagined Chinese landscape, Kwan widens the narrative of inclusion in the diaspora. In this work, his own family legacy finds belonging in both the actual Canadian landscape and the imagined landscapes of the cultural homeland. As a symbol of traditional Chinese culture, replicas of palace lanterns became popular decorative elements in Chinatowns and Chinese restaurants across North America during the 20th century. Sourced from Wang's Palace, a popular Chinese restaurant in Ottawa that closed in 2018, Quan uses this traditional lantern to tell the story of his own Chinese Canadian family, proprietors of the Shanghai restaurant, a fixture in Ottawa's Chinatown since 1971. Intricately carved and lit from within, the lantern is whole and resplendent, with red tassels and jade. Family photographs colored with vibrant filters replace the original panels to illuminate a family history, making the lantern a symbol of fortune. Through a process of reclamation, research, and exchange with OAG curators, Don Kwan's exhibition, Landscape Loss and Legacy, places his practice in conversation with the historic Firestone collection. Using iconic Canadian and Chinese images and objects, while examining his own family's history of more than a century in Canada, Kwan prompts us all to consider belonging and inclusion in the Canadian landscape.